Okay, thanks. Um, we're gonna do a little different style warm up today. It's gonna be not our usual warm up. We're gonna focus on the spine to get into it and work on a little bit of, um, of bracing through the core and just get this, <laughs> get this whole area ready to, um, uh, everything's gonna kind of stem from the core. So we're gonna get that activated and warmed up. So if you need a chair, have a chair here, sorry. Let me adjust my camera so you can see a little bit better. I'm gonna show you with the chair in case you need it. You're gonna stand up nice and tall. Feet are directly, be directly below the hips. Roll the shoulders back. The chin comes down first. Tuck the chin and then continue rolling down through the spine, unrolling the vertebrae one at a time, kind of like a slinky. And you can rest the hand on the chair if you need. Keep this tucked under one at a time, stacking the tip, stacking the vertebrae, then coming up tall. You can keep doing that with the chair or go to the floor. Tuck the chin, roll it down, let the arms hang, tap the floor, unroll. Keep a nice long line lengthening through the spine. Coming up nice and tall, reach the crown of the head to the ceiling. One more time, tuck the chin, roll down, reach the chair or the floor, stack the vertebrae as you roll up. Good. And now we're going to sit on the chair. Oh, I didn't mention, I still have my flip-flops on. I was gonna mention, uh, you can do this barefoot. I should have said this right, right when you guys popped on. If you wanna take off your shoes, go ahead and take them off. I like doing workouts like this barefoot. But if you feel more comfortable having the stability of a shoe, you can leave that on as well. We're gonna come to a seated position, plant the feet down into the floor, and we're just gonna first reach the arms side to side, reach to the right, and then always thinking about coming to this stacked position of the vertebrae, back to the center, reach to the left, back to the center, reach right, good, and left. Just one more time on each side. We're going nice and slow because we're not working on building into the obliques, which is sometimes this motion is used for that. We are just curving through the spine and then realigning that spine. Pressing the feet into the floor. I need to turn my camera down a little further. We're gonna, oh, sorry, one more thing before we get to the feet. Take your hands, place them on the shoulders. Elbows come up high. See if your elbows can come out straight from your shoulders. Twist to the right. Twist the shoulders, keep the hips still. And center. This is a good one to do seated because it helps you keep your hips planted. Sometimes if we're standing and we twist, our hips go with us and our knees go with us. But seated, you can keep your hips planted onto the seat and twist more through the spine. One more time, nice and slow. You can exhale as you twist, inhale as you return to center, twist, and back to the center. Good, drop the arms, roll the shoulders back a couple times. Now sitting firmly in the chair, so if you can see my feet, <clears throat> we're gonna start working on some action in the feet. We're gonna be using our proprioceptors, which, which help activate all the muscles, help us improve our balance. So we're gonna work on that a little bit. First, you're gonna lift your toes up. I don't know if it's visible through the screen. Lift the toes up. Now, can you spread the toes out? Bring it back together, lower the toes down. Pull the toes up, keep the heels planted. Spread the toes out, bring it back in, 
Drop the toes down. One more time. Lift the toes. Spread them out. It might not be too big. <laughs> and then bring them back together. Lower down. Lift up onto the toes. Lift up the heels. Heels come up. Feel it flex in the back and lower down. Also, feel a stretch down the front of the foot. Release. You're still sitting up tall. Point the toes. Press the heel down. Almost pushing through the front of the foot. One more time. Good. Driving the toes into the floor and lower down. Very nice. Let me think, what's next? Okay, I think we hit most of our, we hit all of our major warm up. Our first move is gonna help us activate the core a little bit more. We are going to stand up. I'm trying to get just the right angle so you can see my feet and the top need a wider angle lens. Okay, with your chair, you're going to draw your heels together. If you don't feel like you're quite balanced today, you can take your heels a little bit apart so they're under your hips. Otherwise, squeeze the inner thighs together, squeeze the glutes, wrap them around behind you, toes are out. First, we're just going to focus on what's happening in the feet. We're going to have heels planted. And then heels up, drop the heels down. Oh, so I, I knew I was forgetting something. First one, bend the knees, straighten the legs, lift the heels, heels down. That's actually the pattern. Bend the knees, straighten the knees, heels up, heels down. Take the arm with you, arm down, arm center. Arm overhead, center, and down, center, lift, center, good, bend the knees, straighten the legs, up onto the toes, lower down. If you'd like, take the hand off the chair and take both hands with you. This is a releve, good, here we go, down, center, Lift it up and center. One more slow. I'm going to give you the option to pick up the pace. Up, center, little quicker. Bend, center, lift, center. Bend, center, lift. Are your shoulder blades rolled back? Slide them down into the back pockets. Keep your belly button pulled in. Down, center. Up, little tailbone tuck under. Up, one more, bend, hold this up and pulse it. Four, you can have your hand on the chair. Two, one, lower down, shake that out. <laughs> Good job. We're gonna do a wide squat now. Take the toes out further, heels out further, toes facing out. If you need the chair, place a chair right in front of you for stability. We're first just going to, again, work on the legs. Once we get the legs, then we'll add the arms in. We're going to go down, up. Press the knees out, squeeze up through the glutes. Down, up, down. Now, if you'd like to add the arms, arms down. Straight out to the side, lengthen. Little curve in the elbow, then stretch through the fingertips. Little bend, up, down. We're gonna add another element to this. We're gonna take it to a side bend. We're gonna bring the right arm up, turn to the left, or curve to the left. Here we go. Up, out, up. Out, curve, out, side lean, left arm up, take it down, right arm up, bend the knees, and straighten, can we go quicker, down, 
bend, down, bend, out. Good. Again, pull those knees out. Try to not let them creep forward. Long spine. Four, three, two. We're going to pulse down into the squat. Arms out or arms on the chair. Four, three, two, one. Good. Drop the arms. Step the feet in. Nice work. Okay, this one, this one is a little bit more tricky, and this one might get into your hips. Those of you that might be concerned about the hips. We're gonna, I see, you can't see my feet. There we go. Toes are out, heels are together. We're gonna hold on to the chair with the left hand. The right foot is gonna step out to the side. Then as we bring it back in, you can tap the foot, tap the toes on the floor. It's a little bit of a crossover, crossing over that front leg. Actually, let's all start doing this. Eventually, we're gonna lift up the foot. The knee points out this way. The heel points down at an angle. Let's start with this though. We're gonna step out, tap the toe. Step out. Tap the toe, heels pointing in. The toe is always angled out to the right. Step wide and tap. Now, if you choose, lift the knee. Lift. Out. Straighten this left leg as you come up. Bend. Then straighten. Down. Knee is pointed out to the side. Good. It's a little turnout of the hip. And down. Lift or tap the foot on the floor. And always your core is in. Tailbone down. Two more. Out. And in. Out. Hold it here. Can you lift it or here? Good. Pulse it. Four, three, two, one. Good. Shake that out. We're going to go back to the relevés. You can turn your chair to the other side. Heels together or just slightly apart. Toes are out. Pull the belly button in. It's a little pump. Okay? <laughs> Keep that engaged. Heels and toes out. We're going to start by bending the knees. We'll take the arms down. One arm. Center, up onto the toes, arms overhead, center, bend, center, lift it up, and center, two more at this pace, down, option to take the other hand along for the ride, up, center, good, down, center, straighten the legs, up, let's go a little quicker, down, Center, up, center, down, center. Keep rolling those shoulders back. Keep a slight bend in the elbow. Good, ladies, you got it. Two more, down, center, up, center, down. We're gonna hold this one up. Can you pulse the feet? Four, three, two, and one. Lower the arms. Take the chair in front if you need it for stability. Take the feet out a little wider. We're gonna sink straight into that squat. Let me just show you something real quick. When we sink down into that squat, the shoulders stay directly over the hips. It's like you're sliding up and down a wall. So we don't wanna slouch forward as we squat. Try to keep those shoulders back. Four, three, two, one, down, press it up, down, lift, you can inhale, exhale, if you're holding onto the chair, try to not have a death grip, try to just lightly lay the fingertips, one more, 
Add the arms if you choose. Take them down. Reach them out. Down. And out. Two more like this. Then we're going to add that side bend. Keep the arms out. Take it down. Right arm up. And down. Left arm up. Straighten the legs. Down. Really reach. Really bend. Reach the arms out. Bend. Two more. Lift. One more. Okay, if you're with me, pick up the pace. Down. Side bend. Good. Keep reaching through those fingertips. Four. Three. Chest lifted. One. Hold it down. Arms out or arms on the chair. Four. Three. Two. One. Press up through the heels. Now the chair comes towards our right. Hand lightly on the chair if you need. We're going to step out. Then tap the toe on the floor. Eventually, we'll have the option to lift the knee up. Four, three, two, one. Step out, tap the toe. Step out. It's really hitting those inner thighs. Down, up. Same principle, chest lifted, tailbone down. Step out. Tap, step out, tap. Now option, lift up the knee. Step out, lift the knee. Out, heel is pointed in, knee is pointed out. Two more, lift, one more. Can you pick up the pace? Out. Out. Oh, or actually, I don't know if we went this fast on the other side. <laughs> Four, three, I try to keep things even. Two, hold that knee up, lift, or you can keep tapping the toe, then pull. Four, three, two, one, and drop it down. Shake it out. Grab a quick drink. We're going to move on to another series. Okay, now we're going to use the back of the chair as our bar, resting on our bar. So we're going to now really get into the back side, the glutes and the hamstrings. Level one is you're going to stack your hands one on top of the other, rest them on the chair. Step back so that your hips come to 90 degrees, then you're going to rest your forehead on your arms, tap one foot back, right foot back, and we're going to lift and lower, but if you can only come up, you know, a few inches off the floor, that's okay. For a challenge, it'll be more of a challenge for your core, you're going to reach your hands out, keep yourself into 90 degrees, same thing with the leg, lifting back and lowering. So pick whichever way you like. Hands on the forehead or hands on the chair. Forehead on my hand on the forearms. Oh my goodness. Forehead on the forearms or hands on the chair. Bend at the hips. Keep that core tight. Four, three, two. Tap that right foot back and lift. Up, two, down, two. Up. And down, toes are pointing down. And tap, lift up, and tap the floor. Squeeze it up, lower down, keep the abs in tight. Make sure you're not arching through the back. Square your hips, lift, draw that right hip down so it doesn't open up to the side. Let's pick up the pace right here, lift, lift. Up, down, up, down, four, take a break if you need, three, 
two, hold it up, little pulse here, four, three, two, one, and drop, shake that out, oh my goodness, and you feel it in your standing leg too, right? Shift the hips over, good. <laughs> and the other one. Okay, we're gonna move on, uh, we're gonna do the other side our second time through. We're going to come into, a, it's called a chair pose. Feet are close together, but if you need a little bit of a gap, you can have about a foot width between your foot. So chair pose is just sitting back slightly. We're gonna take our arms, palms are gonna come together like you're trying to clasp behind you. Keep the abs pulled in tight, lift up the elbows. We're gonna take the arms in and out. In and out. Palms facing in, this is for the triceps. Good, in and out. Look down at the floor, in, keep a long neck. Try to not strain your neck by looking up. You might want to look up to see what I'm doing sometimes, and that's okay. But then take your gaze to the floor. Out. In. Really squeeze them together. Out. In. Isn't it amazing? We don't need weights <laughs> to work these muscles. Let's go a little quicker. Out. In. Out. In. Out. In. Out. In. Four. Squeeze. Three. Two, exhale, one. Now clap them together. Clap, clap, clap. Keep them high for four, three, two, one, and drop. Woohoo! Shake that out. Take the arms up, palms back. Pat yourself on the back. Pull back on your elbow. And the other side. Okay, we're gonna come to our chair. One more move and then we're going to repeat it. All three. Feet are side by side, just about hip distance apart. We're going to first just do some calf raises, trying to lift straight up and then down. Coming up onto your toes as much as you can. Pressing through the front of the foot. Give it a nice stretch. Sometimes our foot just gets fused in this bent position. We want to keep it mobile. Okay, ready? Let's check in with our posture first. Roll the shoulders back. Pull the abs in tight. Tuck the tailbone under. Here we go. Up. Down. Lift. Lower, I gotta step back a little, and lift. Lower, toes are pointing front, up and down. Lengthen through the back of the knee. Squeeze the glutes to help get you lifted a little higher. Exhale, inhale, two more, up and down. Up, okay, now watch it, we're gonna run it out. Keep your toes planted, right, left, right, left. Good, just the heels lift. For eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one, and drop, good job. Okay, let's do the other leg. If you need a drink, grab a drink. You can stack your hands or reach them out, bend at 90 degrees, left leg comes up, here we go, lift and drop, tap the toe, lift, you drop it on the toenail, lift, drop, lift, drop, straighten the left leg, or sorry, the right leg, <laughs> down, well yes, yeah, straighten both legs, but even the standing leg, up, down, exhale, inhale, flat back, two more, one more, pick up the pace, here we go, up, down, keep those hips still, try to not wiggle, keep them side by side, four, 
three, you got it, it's a little kick. Two, hold it up and pulse it. Four, three, two, one, drop. Walk it in, shake that out. We're gonna sink into the chair pose, work on the triceps, squeeze the arms together. Feet are close together, hinge back at the hips. Keep this long spine. Reach the arms back, bring them in, out, in, out. Squeeze, release, squeeze, release, good. Looks good, Joe. Good, Kim, in, out, in, out. Four, three, two, one, now like you're clapping. In, 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 press it. Good, four, three, two, and one. Rest, shake that out. Good, you can take a quick tricep stretch if you like. Good, pull back on the elbow. Okay, right back into our calf raises. I'll come here. <laughs> Holding onto the chair, stand up nice and tall. Tuck the tailbone under, abdomen tight. Lift up onto the toes, lift, down. Think about reaching up to the ceiling. Long spine, down, good down, good Joe. Up and down. Press through the front of the feet. Lengthen through the back of the knees. Two more, up, down, one more, little quicker, here we go, up, down, up, down, lift, good, exhale, inhale, four, three, two, and one, run it out, keep the toes planted, just lift the heels, eight, seven, Six, five, four, three, two, one. Nice work. Shake that out. Grab a quick drink. Okay, we only have one section. One section left to go. We're going to work on our biceps. And then we're gonna work again some more on the, on the quadriceps doing a squat. If your legs are tired and you wanna give your legs a break, that's okay, you can just focus on the arms, but I wanna make sure we get a little bit more arm work in today. So you, you probably won't be able to use a chair on this. So if you're feeling a little wobbly, just don't make your squat too deep. We're going to scoop the arms under. See, there's a little curve in my arms. So we're not, we're not reaching out straight. We're keeping a little bit, a little bit of a bend, like you're holding a big ball or a big basket or something. <laughs> Keep a little bend in the arms. Feet wide. Keep the abs in tight. We're going to squat as we pull back, lift, down, lift. Now we have to use a little mind-body connection here. Send the attention to the bicep. You're telling the bicep flex. Yes, have to do a little bit of mind tricks to get the muscles working. Down, scoop it up. Down, scoop. Good, down, scoop, down, Two, two more, sink it low, <clears throat> excuse me, press it up, one more, now hold it down, scoop, lift, pull back, lift, we're just going to hold the leg still for this, for four, three, press, two, one, and bring the feet together, open the arms, reach the fingertips behind, you can lift your chin if you'd like. Get a little stretch through the chest and lower the arms. So we're going to do a plank. 
My plan is to just use the chair and have everybody stay on the chair for a plank. But if you're feeling like you really want a challenge, then just come down to the floor, hands down to the floor. Otherwise, flip your chair around. So this is gonna be a combination. We're gonna take the pattern nice and slow to start. And then we're gonna pick up the pace, but the pace might be a lot of effort on your shoulders. So if you need to take it easy on your shoulders, keep it at the slower pace. We're going to start, actually let's start in a down dog. So with hands on the chair, step back so that you're at a little bit of a peak. Your hips are higher, your hips are higher than your head and your hands here, then we're going to come front so our shoulders reach over our wrist. Then we're going to twist the right hip down, hold, twist the left, left hip down, hold, and then come back to a down dog. Okay, so that's basically the pattern. Down dog, come to a plank, hold, right hip, right. We'll hold center and left hip center, down dog, hips high, and back to plank, reach it front, slow right hip, right hip down, center, left hip down, center, one more slow, down dog, nice and easy, ears by the bicep, come back to a plank. Right hip down, right, hold center, left, hold center. Let's see if we can go quicker. Down dog, plank, right, left, down dog, plank, right, twist left, center, down dog, plank, twist right, Twist left, again, down dog, plank. That down dog should feel good, right? <laughs> and left, reach it out, hips high, plank. Twist right, twist left, one more time. Down dog, plank, twist right, twist left. Hold it and plank for four, three, two, one. Step it in, round to the back, roll it up. All right, good job, feet wide. Pull the abs in, open through the chest. Get that curve position in your arms. Let's sink it down, squat, and reach up through the biceps. Squat, and reach. Inhale, exhale. Inhale, exhale, inhale, down, up, again, you're sliding up and down that wall, keep your shoulders back, down, lift, scoop, one more slow, let's pick up the pace, down, lift, sink it low into that squat. Inhale, exhale, four, reach, three, two, mind-body connection, one, and you can lower that down, good. We just have to do our planks with our twists and down dog, and then we'll cool down. So, step the feet back far enough so that when you come front, your shoulders are over your wrists and you can take your body in a nice long line. Start in down dog. Here we go, four, three, two, come to plank, nice and slow. Come to plank, right hip in, center, left hip in, center, and down dog. We'll just do one more slow, because you know how to do it. Plank, twist right, Center, twist left, and center, down dog. Okay, four, three, 
to a little quicker. Come to plank. And right. Twist left. And down dog. And plank. Twist right. Twist left. Down dog. Plank. Right. Left. Breathe. Down dog. Exhale. Inhale. Exhale. Inhale. Exhale. And breathe out as you down dog. Inhale. Exhale. Down dog. You got it. Lengthen through the back there. Right. Left. And down dog. Last time. Plank. Twist right. Twist left. Best plank of the day. Your chest is open. Your shoulder blades are drawn back. Press up through the back of the knees. Three, two, one. Bring the feet in. Round through the back. Roll it up. Good. Roll out the shoulders a little. And bring them front. Good job. Grab a quick drink if you need, and we're going to cool down. Okay, taking the chair back in your hands. This should feel really good for your lower back. You're going to let the tip, oh, it, unless you have a slippery floor like me. <laughs> Hopefully this works. You're going to tip your chair forward and just let the chair pull your arms forward as your hips go back. And then lower the chair, come back up, standing up tall. One more time, reach the chair, tip it forward as the hips go back. Get a little back arch. This time you can really let your back arch like a cat cow. Feel a nice stretch down the back of the legs, down the hamstrings. And bring it up. Facing the front, you can keep a hand on the chair if you like. Right foot front, left leg back. Press into this heel. Good. So your left leg is straight right now. Good. Bring the knee under. Keep this forearm on the chair. Lean towards the left. Get a nice stretch down the side. And coming up, bring this left foot in. Right leg. If it's comfortable, grab your foot for a quadriceps stretch. If it's not comfortable, tap a foot behind you and just try to pull the knee under. You're just getting a little stretch this way. Good, keep the chest lifted. Get a nice stretch through the hip flexors as well as the quadriceps. Good, and let's do that on the other side. Left leg front, right leg back. You can hold on to the chair for stability. Press into that right heel. Oh, I feel my calves. <laughs> Good. Loosen up through the ankles. Now bend this back knee under slightly. Keep your forearm on the chair. Sink into the stretch. You can even let the hips pop out a little bit toward the side. You can look down at the arm if it feels better for your neck. Swing that left arm up and back down. Step the right foot in, grab a hold of the left foot, or place the left toes back and draw your left knee under, stretching through the hip flexors and the quadriceps. I like to, if you're in this position, I like to try to keep the knees lined up side by side. So we're not way out here or anything like that. Good. And drop it down. We'll go ahead and sit, or I'm going to sit down. It might be easier for you to see my upper body this way. If you want to stand, you can keep standing. Let's open the arms, reach the fingertips back for a bicep stretch. Then turn the palms down. Reach behind you. Interlace the fingers and just Pull back, open through the chest. You can even look up, take the chin up. 
and release. Take the arms up, palms back, pat yourself on the back. Pull back on an elbow if you'd like a deeper stretch. And switch whenever you're ready. Good, keep breathing. Don't hold your breath through the stretches. Send oxygen to the muscles. Hands on the back, arms up, palms down. Let's roll the shoulders back two times. And front. I almost skipped over something. We're gonna twist towards the left, place the right hand on the outside of the left leg. If you're, seated, if you're not seated in the chair, go ahead and get in the chair. Then if you can grab this chair behind you to help you pull, keep the spine stacked and look over your left shoulder. Inhale, press a little deeper as you exhale and come back to center. Other side, take the left hand to the right leg, hold on to the chair back and pull yourself as you twist, looking over your right shoulder. Inhale through the nose, exhale, twist a little deeper. And back to the center. Now let's roll out the shoulders, take them front. Drop the right ear to the right shoulder. If you would like a deeper stretch, you can just rest a hand, not tugging, but just giving it a little bit of extra help. Head comes straight up, left ear goes to the left shoulder. If you want a little bit more of a stretch, just rest a hand lightly. And drop your hand, lift your head, chin straight down to the chest. Open up space in the cervical spine. Inhale, lift your head as you exhale. We'll take a few deep breaths. I'm gonna stand with my feet wide. Inhale, arms up. Exhale, let it out. Inhale, scoop up the air. And exhale, last time and let it out all right thanks so much glad you guys joined me this morning thank you thank you for spending time with us yes oh, thank it. you i love it i'm having probably the most fun out of everybody so <laughs> okay well, we're having fun too. Thank you. so stay nice and cool yes you too thanks you too, all right bye bye, bye.